What's happening, Ratchet City and all over? It's your girl, Tina B. And you know I'm holding it down with TakeOver TV. Don't play with me. Just put on my belt. Ain't your belt. It's my belt. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I, I'm gonna ask you about this because I think you weighed in on it. Okay. I did an interview with you one for it. Okay. <laughs> and I think you know where I'm going. With I do, with this. but I'm gonna let you ask me. <laughs> he said within well, uh -huh. the interview uh -huh. that he was the number one rapper in Street He was the uh -huh. top rapper in Street Boy. Yes. Of course, when I make um, headlines or post something, I never post anything false. Right. I post. Um, what's in the context of the interview right. that we just gave? What was talking about. And if I make a, if I title it something, you go up in that interview and know that it was said. I'm uh -huh. gonna make fake headlines. Right. Uh -huh. So that's the reason I post like that. I uh -huh. let him know in advance I was gonna, gonna do it. And he was like, "Shoot, let's go." Good. I said, "Okay," because you know that might there's gonna be some heat uh -huh. coming with this. Uh -huh. I can't wait to ask this. He's question. like, "Let's go." Uh -huh. You weighed in. I did. And agreed uh -huh. with him. I do. So would you like to elaborate on that right now? I will gladly. The there reason, we go. Okay, so this is the thing that I feel like was some of the peop other people's thought process is saying that he wasn't uh, right. the top rapper. I feel like they're saying that because maybe they don't know him. I feel like they're saying it because maybe his music isn't, not what is his music's great. His music ain't not flowing around the city like that. Mm -hmm. But as far as an actual rapper, in Shreveport, Louisiana, as far as talent is concerned, we're not, if we're not talking about radio plays, because honestly, nobody's really on the radio. No. It's from Shreveport. But we're not talking about radio plays. We're not even talking and about performances. I'm going to get to that, by yeah, the way. We're not we'll talking about performances. We're not talking about bookings. We're talking about actually being able to rap. The skill the of boy, getting on the Juwan, microphone. Right. I, the first time I met Juwan, so this is the thing. I support Juwan, but I've been supporting Juwan since before I support Juwan was cool. So I met Juwan, I'm gonna tell this guy honestly, and hopefully my, and nobody get mad at what I say, but me and Juwan smoked Reggie together. You know, like seven, eight years, you know, years ago. Like, you know, but like I met him at Gremlin and he came out there because he had a friend in Gremlin and we was in this apartment complex smoking Reggie with C's in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we started rapping. And this is real life. We started, we, we was just, he, he was like, I heard y'all like the freestyle. And because me and my friends did, we was buddy like that. We used to like the freestyle. And mm -hmm. 19 years old. You know what I mean? We was like, yeah, we a freestyle. Tina B got some lines on her. You ain't trying to hear that now. <laughs> anyway, so, so we was like, yeah. But then also, I remembered his name from another friend of mine. And another friend of mine. Uh, told me that he could rap. So I was like, you Juwan, right? He was like, yeah. I said, I heard you can rap. He said, nah, I can't rap. I was like, okay. I'm going to tell you, probably two minutes later, Juwan rapped in front of us for 15 minutes straight, freestyle, mm -hmm. and just kept going. And then, guess what? Kept going. Mm -hmm. And then, guess what? Kept going. Jawan literally, free and this is this is back in 2012, 2011, 2013. You know what I'm saying? This is back then. This, this is, young Jawan. Yeah, yeah, we young. Not like he's not I, young now. Yeah, we yeah. was young. I was like probably 200 and something. That was big as hell back then. It was like a while ago, okay? And it's like, you know, that's what we were doing back then. But he rapped in front of us like that. And I, you know, me and him was cool from then on. So I've sat in and not saying that just because we have a personal relationship that he's a good rapper. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I literally, I listen to Juwan. He's a good rapper. He is the number one rapper in Shreveport. He may not be the number one artist, but he is the number one rapper. He may not be the most known, but he's the best one at the skill, to me. Out of all the local rappers I've met, mm -hmm. he, as far as the skill of being a rapper, lyricists that can take you from point A to point B and then all the way back to C and then back over to maybe negative 87, that's Juwan. And you still sitting there like, dang. And he was doing that in 2012. So I do think he's, that's why I, that's why I, I support Juwan. And also he work. And that's, that's another thing that people in Shreveport miss. They miss the work. They don't get that Jawan was standing on top of his car rapping outside of the celebrity basketball game back in 2014 over there at the Century, the Century uh, cent uh, Centenary. They don't remember that. They don't think about it because they don't care. But they all want to call me and tell me to put them on, but they ain't doing no work like that. Nobody is out there actively saying, hey, I don't care if you like my music, I'm going to rap anyway. And I'm going to stand in front of you and do it anyway. And I'm going to make you hear me anyway. Jawan did that. Like on one of his songs say, I'm out of town with only 20 bucks 
He really was on, he, Jawan was out of town in Rustin with only 20 bucks, still rapping in the bathroom, making his own beats. Mm. I, to me, that's, un, that's undefeatable, especially coming out of this city. Mm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, know. I know this is something that you definitely know about. Yeah. Something that people always complain to me about. Like, I can do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Man, we can't get on the radio. They won't put us on the radio. The radio won't, won't support us. I know mm -hmm. one reason. Like, hell, you ain't even got a clean edit. They can't, mm -hmm. you can't say mm -hmm. nigga, nigga, nigga on the radio with every yeah. other word, no, right? That's true. Mm -hmm. So, help these guys out. What is the main key for these guys to get their song on the radio? Besides getting it hot in the streets, which is one mm -hmm. where you can undeniably not play yeah, it on right, the radio. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's hot in the street, you ain't got you no ain't got choice. You got no choice, you're right. Like we have to play every this. Right, yeah. right. Uh -huh. But as a radio station, I know there are certain people you have to play. Mm -hmm. I can't play the baby. Mm -hmm and then turn around and play your stuff and lose all my listeners, mm -hmm. then, 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 then I'm in trouble. Yeah. I gotta mm -hmm. keep these listeners in. Mm -hmm. people, listen to low, people listen to radio to hear the people they want to hear. That's true. And I, think, and, and I don't think I'm far off from that, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't think a lot of people know that. But I know you know deeper than me, how are these guys gonna be able to get radio play? So this is what I, first thing I want to say is that okay. radio is like TV. It's a program. Right. Meaning that you can't just, like you just said, you, can, you can't just be watching Scandal and then decide to throw in Moesha because you feel like showing Moesha. Right? right? If TGIT where Shonda Rhimes is on, you got, you got Scandal, you got Grey's Anatomy, you got Scandal, you got How to Get Away with Murder. That's gonna come on on Thursday from six to nine, every single Thursday, no matter what. It's commercials being ran on the radio station. Now that's one thing I do tell people, it's a program station. Not saying that you don't have music you can put in, you know, of course you can do that, you know, it's, it's a manual thing, you can move stuff around. Mm -hmm. But it is songs that has to be played, meaning that it's certain songs that have to be played 10 times a day. It's a song that has to be played eight times a day. And all these songs have to be played and where we're gonna place yours. Now, let me say this though. I don't think that local artists shouldn't get radio play. I just feel like, like you said, getting hot in the streets. Some of these people saying they won't play our stuff, I can honestly tell you, they didn't try. And, I've been, that's, and that's got us true. A lot of people say that nobody supports them, but they never tried to actually get it. You hitting me up, and I'm going to curse, but I'm cursing because I want to caption whatever somebody else said. Go ahead. But a guy sent me a video or sent me a SoundCloud and said, 18 to B, I'm the next one popping. Fuck with my shit. I get that. How too. do you think I supposed to? <laughs> hey, yo, Quinn Echoes, this dude say fuck for this shit, you heard me? He popping. Why would I do that? You know, that, that. Also, too, um, like I said, they don't try. You coming, not saying you coming to me, not saying that I don't have any juice, but you actually going, like I said, I walked to the radio station, I rang the doorbell, and I said, hey, you need to hear me be on this radio, yada, yada, yada. That's what I did. Why can't you do the same thing? You've watched Brown Sugar. You watched on Brown Sugar as a man sat down there and said, hey, you're going to listen to my song. You're going to let me play it on your radio station. They didn't do that. Uh, also, too, a lot of times we, we, we're promoting to nothing. Sometimes I see a lot of different local artists. Cause I know what, cause I know a lot of people. I, I'm from here, so you know, mm -hmm. I see a lot of old local artists will post their SoundCloud link, but they only have 20 followers or 100 or so followers, and you're like, ain't nobody supporting me. We don't know you, bro. But then you expect, but you expect for us to play your song in the club. You expect us to play your song on the radio. People always make posts, and I, I'm, I'm gonna address this, I'm glad you asked. Somebody, people make posts all the time and say, people only, uh, DJs and radio personalities and stuff in the city only fool with what's popular. That's not true. We fool with what, who's working. It's only popular because they're working. Pep Talk only popped because he made sure he did what he needed to do to put the mm -hmm. stuff behind it. Working My Shoulders only popped because Big Fella did what he needed to do to put the energy behind it. Uh, Jawan, you know Jawan because you won't hear about I support Jawan anywhere. Even with Sleepers for the Rich, even with Takeover TV, with all these, any, any brand in Shreveport that you know about, they work for you to know them. 
And so we don't fool with who's popping. We don't fool with who's popular. Somebody worked at it and you didn't. And that's the difference in between what we do and why we fool with who we fool with. I fool with who's working. I posted a, on my social media the other day. I, well, not the other day, probably a few weeks ago. I said, hey, local artists, I need your music. They all, it was over a hundred people saying, oh, I don't tend to be, blah, blah, blah. So I told them all to send me an email. I, and they sent me an email and I sent them a full blown email back of what they needed to do in order for me to play their music. I mean, I sent them a full blown list, what they still, if, if they paid me, what it was going to, da, 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 promotion, this, this, and that. I sent them everything. Only got maybe 10 back. See. That is the difference in the reason why your stuff ain't on the radio as somebody else's is. Because you're just, you're, you're spending money. People are literally spending money to go into the studio and not spending the money to pay, to get their music to be played. You're spending money to sit in here and make it, but you're not going out and actually promoting it or doing what you gotta do to promote it. And it's somebody, it is somebody who's standing on the corner and they are standing out there and somebody, they passing out CDs. That is somebody that is doing that. And whoever that guy is, guess who it was? Was Joe and there's a couple other guys who are doing it, but they do it every now and then. It's a dude who will see me and will at the at the gas station, and he probably there just buying some or something, and then he'll see me, and then he'll go to his car and get me the CD. That's cool, but why is it that you gotta wait till you see me to pass out the CD? Why aren't you already here at this gas station passing out CDs? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One thing that somebody told me the other day, they said, make the people come to you. And I do agree with that, but I do also think they go to people. You need to go to people and say, hey, I'm here. This is what I do, and I'm good at doing it. I was at Grooves in Houston, and I walked around to everybody that saw me. Somebody said they liked my hair. I told them who I was, what I did, and told them to follow me. I, it didn't matter, you know, but I, that's what I did. Everybody who I saw, when we sat down, and you were sitting in my space, we asked, they bumped into each other. I said, hey, girl, follow me on Instagram. Like, that's what I did. That's, as a local artist, is that what you're doing? Are you actually actively out here getting people to want to listen to your music? Are you trying to get us to listen to your music? Or are you just recording stuff, posting it and think we supposed to come to you? Nothing comes to you. You have to get up actively and go get it. Nobody's going to walk into your room and say, hey, I'm going to put you on the radio because nobody did it to me. But you want to talk about how popping I am? Guess what? I had to work for it. And it's been times I'm going to sit outside the radio station in my car and cry. I done cried in the studio. But I done sat there and I don't work for it. Like I just told you, I was driving back and forth with no money from Grambling to Shreveport every week just to sit in the radio station that I wasn't even talking on for three months. Are you going to do that? Are you going to are you going to really do that? That's what people aren't doing. They're not taking a chance on themselves and saying, I believe in what I do and I'm going to really give it to you. They're just saying, I'm doing it. Why you ain't fooling with me? And they mad at you like you supposed to come find them. Nigga, I don't know you. I don't even know your name. I, somebody tagged me. This is a, not a joke. I made my post about how it was hard for me in Houston. And I'm pretty sure you saw because I think you said something. And it was getting hard for me in Houston. And I was saying how this is my first month recap. Right. And some chick, I don't know if it's a chick or a girl or a guy. I don't know who it was, to be honest. But, you know, my social media, I got like 12.7 thousand followers. Yeah. So it's followers. like I, I don't see every message. I don't see every tag. I don't see every anything. I'm with you. And it has the, they have a, we have a request box. You have a primary box. You have a general box. You have a request box. Uh, yeah. This person had been in my request box apparently for a minute. I've never seen it, though. It's Happ in my request happens box. Happens to me, so I understand. And so I see that I've been mentioned in an instant, because now they tell you on your notification that you've been mentioned in an Insta story. So I'm like, all right, all right babe, I'll go click it. And this person is sharing what I posted and is like, but I done hit Tina B up so many times that she ain't never respond to me. Why da, why da, why? But I still support her though. Cause you know, da, 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 it's been hard for me too. And it's crazy cause I never even saw a message from them, never even saw a post. And can I honestly tell you, that person only, when I did go look, only messaged me twice in the history of life. And the only thing they probably done sent me was a video or SoundCloud. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. So it's like, how am I supposed to even know that that's there? I don't even know you. Right. But I mean, that's that's what happens to me. But I just tell people, I just want to say, if you want to, if you want something, go get it. And how you get on the radio, go get yourself on the radio. Work at it. Be out there. Do your thing. Do what it is you got to do. Shake hands with Quinn Eccles. Shake hands with Jabba Jaw. Shake hands with Big Ann over there at 99. You know what I'm saying? Go be there. You're not there. You ain't at the events. Why you not even, the 1037 B had the thing of the day, day pool. Why are you not there trying to sit there and drink a drink with Quinn Eccles and say, hey, I got a song out and I want to play it? Because I'm going to tell you, he, my thing is he ain't going to play it all the time, but he'll play it around 7 o'clock at night, if you, you know what I'm saying. And, or, you know, we may let you come in there and do but like you got to work for it. You have to really want it. Do you want it or are you lying? 
that, that's fair. And that's <laughs> yeah. fair. Because yeah. people hit me up for interviews. Man, why you ain't covered me? I'm like, who are you? Right. So yeah. I go to their page. I look. I don't see nothing but pictures with shirts mm -hmm. off and sitting on cars. Yeah. I'm looking for work. Yeah. I'm looking for music what videos. Are you doing? I'm looking for fan interaction. Uh -huh. Because if nobody's interacting with your Instagram page, mm -hmm. who the hell's gonna watch the interview? Right, who's gonna do this? What you Besides gonna do? Besides me, you, and your home a couple boys. of your homeboys. Yeah. They ain't doing me no good. Mm -hmm. You gonna bring my ranking down though. Mm -hmm. I got a brand to protect. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. mind working with anybody as long as they working. Right. I interviewed One Ratchet. Uh -huh. I interviewed Green Eyes. Uh -huh. They did great uh -huh. numbers, you know why? Because uh -huh. they working in the street. Right. People, mm -hmm. they got a fan base. You got a I fan base and you popping? Yeah. Shit, we get it on. We can but, definitely work. But like you said, I mean, you just can't hit me up with a link. Yeah. Right here. What you want me to do with this? Right. I'm not an A&R. No. I'm an interview guy. Yeah. I can't get you on. Yeah. You That's gotta right. get yourself on. And I'm just a radio, I'm, I don't I don't own a radio station. That's another thing I do, I don't own it. But if I did, if I was like a program director, if I, but now if I had my own personal station, cause 103.7 beat is owned by Alpha Media, 99.7 is owned by Cumulus. So everybody has somebody else they have to answer to. Right. So if I had my own personal station that did have anything to do with any other corporation, <laughs> any other corporation, I would put them on. I, I would, but that's me. But that's cause it would be my own brand, own my entity. own thing. And you can yeah, do what you yeah, want. we can do it. Like right now on the, on the digital station that I'm on, I can put you on there. Right. Cause it's not owned by any big corporation to where they can say, they can why is this? Yeah. Like, who is this? Yeah, who is this? What is this? Why yeah. is this being played three times? We don't even know this song. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. yeah. So if you, I just feel like working is a big part of being great, and if you don't work, you can't. You can't ever get there. You gotta at least try it out. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yes. I doubt ten B. This been fun. I'm glad you had a good time. We can almost go another two hours with this. You know? <laughs> we chilling. <laughs> we, we have that connection, man. You, Do know? you think we have the connection? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We I'll have take it. it. Yeah. You want to give any um, shout outs or anything like that? Any parting words? Any pardon words? Um, what for I do for your nice say, report audience. Well, what I you. do want to say for <laughs> the city, I I can honestly say that the way I walked into Houston, I would never have been able to walk into Houston if it wasn't for Shreveport. Hey. Um, I'm from here, so it wasn't a lot for the city to gravitate to me because I have I'm born, raised, all that here. Um, so my fan base, my 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 foundation is Shreveport. Everything I've learned about radio, I learned from 103.7 to beat. I learned from Quinn Nichols. I learned from Ferrari Fox. I learned from Jabba Jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, um, School to Man Pro. That's my that's my one of my main mentors. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I, I learn from these people. I sit down. I talk to them. They say Cat Daddy used to sit down and talk to us too. You hey, know what I'm saying? Okay. So uh, as far as Shreveport is concerned, Shreveport is home. Um, I love my home. Only the, this one place that I know that. I, when I walk in here, I can literally do what I want. I literally can hop on this microphone and we can rock this thing out like I'm in Inferno tomorrow. Hey. And I know when I go in Inferno tomorrow, I can do how I want to do and I can do it how we do it. And we're going to all have a good time and rock the hell out. And then we're going to depart and then we're going to still be in love when I come back. So, you know, I, I do love my city. So I am grateful. I'm gracious. I cried in the car when I decided to move to uh, Houston. I decided on that weekend I went down there to visit and I went out. I cried because the, one of the guys already knew who I was and they knew Zeal name. They knew my name and they knew Zeal's name. Right. And I said Zeal, but that's how long I've been knowing them. Anyway, but they knew my name, they knew Zeal's name. And that, I, when I got to the car, I cried because if it wasn't for Shreveport, they would have never known my name. And so I don't take that for granted. I don't take anything that Shreveport is giving me for granted because I just, just Brittany said the other day, she is more blessed than she deserves to be. Shreveport definitely uh, poured, poured a lot into me than I, I can honestly say I probably didn't even deserve as much love as I got. And it's only been five years and on the radio and being an MC and I'm not trying to downgrade anybody, but I've done a lot and I've surpassed some people in, within the span of five years. So yeah, I'm so grateful to Shreveport. Shout out to my mama. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I really am. I, I mean, shout out to y'all for, you know, showing me love and everybody who shows me genuine yeah. love and support. I appreciate it because that's the only way that I can, I can honestly say I can keep going is knowing that I have that support and that love. So, yeah, and that's, the, that's what made my stupid tail believe that I can go to Houston and do it. Y'all, it's y'all fault. 
Y'all the ones who told me I could go be great. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And, we, and we'll take that charge. All right, cool. As long as you're taking the charge. So, uh, you know, the city of Shreveport thanks you for everything that you've done for the city mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. continue to do for the city. Yeah, so take over TV thanks you because we've been following you for a while and yeah. you have been a trailblazer even for Takeover TV okay, with your interviews it. and mm -hmm. all the things that you've ever done. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't know, we've always watched you and admired you. From this afar. A, okay, you know? I appreciate that. And we've always wanted to interview you. We finally got it to happen. So yes, this, this is a, a great moment for me. Well, I'm glad this is a great moment for you. It's a you great know. moment for me. Hey, you, you set a bar for me for interviews. I watch your okay. interviews. Your That's interviews are really, really good. <laughs> oh, I, said, I got I got at least be like Tina B, you know. <laughs> okay. I, you, you set the measuring stick. So well, hell, I sometimes I think I could do better. So, you know, me, me too. Me. <laughs> yeah, me too. So. But but somebody yeah. has to set that measuring stick mm -hmm. for the next person. Mm -hmm. And you never know who you setting that stick for. Yeah, right. So right, hell, right. you were setting the stick for me, whether uh -huh. you knew it or not. Right. Okay. So That's I came good. along and I and I I did my thing in Shreveport and, and beyond. Uh -huh. But, you know, on, on behalf of Takeover TV, we want, we want to thank you for your service. Like the military, you know, we want to thank oh, you for shit. your service like that. and everything <laughs> that you've done. And um, we wish you nothing but the best down there in Houston. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be one of the top dogs in Houston before oh, long. I believe Ooh. that and I see it coming. Yes, I will. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Because there's up. nothing but greatness in the future of Tina B. Well, thank you. And I we appreciate it. Hey, Amen. So, so it made me cry a little bit. Until the next time when we get together yes, and have sir. some fun. Yes, sir. There it is. Are you going to the club tonight? You turning up? You I got to go see my cousin tonight. Nah, you supposed to be going to buy me a drink, dog. I mean, I, 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 I can't It's been two tonight. years Man, since I like, pulled. You want me to pull up two years ago? You can't I, even buy me a drink. I can cash app you and you <laughs> get your own drink. But I, I just can't be there physically. Hey, we taking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> The dollar sign Empress Tina B. Capital E, capital T, capital B. Thank you. I appreciate you got me on camera. Now I got it. <laughs> and there it is. Got him. <laughs>